Village of Niles is piloting a program to help with rodent control. And WGN's Christine Flores is telling us it's going to be nature versus nature. Oh, good evening. Niles is currently piloting a feral cat rodent control program. They have five cats which are being cared for and fed by a volunteer resident. Mickey, Robin. That's Sarwad Hakim, a Niles resident and volunteer who is currently caring for five feral black cats. Star, come on. They wander here and there, so we'll, they'll be coming in a little while. It's part of a joint effort with the Village of Niles Community Development Department and Niles Police to mitigate rodent issues. We in Niles have been having a little bit of an issue with rats um, over the last few years, I would say. Um, and we've tried working with a pest control company, um, using bait boxes, and it seems like there's been not much success with that. Animal control officer Allison Cole says the pilot is similar to a program used in Chicago. For now, it's centered in one location, which is Hakeem's yard, where they can seek shelter and food. But the key for feeding them is that they do come back. We want them coming back to the same spot because then we know where they are. And so we know what area they are essentially affecting for, you know, rat control. And it's, you know, the hope is that just the cat's presence, even if they're not killing them, their presence will drive the rats away. The police department has also offered resources to spay and neuter the cats to prevent uncontrolled breeding. Yeah, it's amazing that yeah, how uh, I get to, uh, I got these cats because, yeah, we are, uh, since childhood, I, I was brought up with cats and dogs. So cats, I love cats. When we moved here, there were lots of big rats. But now we don't have any. I didn't see any rat so far. After two months, the village says they will evaluate the program's effectiveness based off of resident feedback as well as rodent complaints. Then they say if it is effective, they will expand it into other parts of the village. Reporting in Niles, Christine Flores, WGN News.